to look deep down inside because the world has camouflaged it so well. We can look at our lives and think that we're successful. We can look at our lives and think that we're even happy. And yet many of us, when we get past the surface of all that and look way deep inside, we know something's missing. If that's you today, you can still be redeemed. You can still find purpose. That emptiness inside can still be filled. And we want to invite you to do that. There's a little card that's in the, in the seats in front of you. It's called Next Step. And maybe today you're taking a next step in your life. And if you are and would like to share that with us, you can do that QR code and it'll come to us electronically or you can fill it out and place it in that box at the next table back there. You can make a decision today, say, hey, I'm going to follow Christ. I want to be redeemed. I want to follow Christ and be baptized. Or I'd like to join and be a member at North River Baptist Church. Or maybe I'd just like to get a little more clarification. I'd like to speak to the pastor. If you put that down, we'll make those arrangements and make that happen for you. But you're still very much able to be redeemed. Dear Father, we pray that you would lead us and guide us, that the story of Peter and the story of Paul would be our story. We've so disappointed. We've so fallen short. We've even denied your name. And in the midst of all that guilt and all that sorrow and all that depression and despondency that we feel sometimes, you enter the room and redeem us. We pray, Father, that we would allow that to happen, that we can make a choice to follow you. We can make a choice to be redeemed. And no matter what the world says to us about success and what levels of accolades we can achieve, we pray, Father, that we would understand that the greatest of these is following you. In Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen.